Hello, my name is Valentina. When I was younger, I have never had a home. I lived in a house given by the state to live temporarily in it. After that, I moved with my grandmother and I didn't have a beautiful life there. My father started to drink alcohol and every night he used to beat all three of us, my mother, my grandmother and I. Later, my grandmother from my father's side couldn't stand seeing us being beaten all the time. She decided to take us to live with her. But because of her husband, who was an alcoholic as well, we were often kicked out of the house. During the winter, there were times when we used to wake up covered in snow. We used to sleep with the ships and with the chickens. We used to hide ourselves in the cellar so we can escape all the screaming and all the beating. The worst moment I remember was one day when my father came home drunk. He took us in the streets. My mother was holding my brother in her arms and my father stood there behind her and tried to strangle her. Our neighbor, who was also my teacher, came to help us. And that's how my mother survived. Later, my mother divorced my father and we were left alone. We didn't have what to eat. There were many times when we would only eat bread and oil. And because the winters here in Moldova are very harsh, my mother used to work two jobs. She worked in cleaning shops and in other people's gardens. And as a payment, she would receive buckets of potatoes. After a while, she found another man and she decided to live with him. But I never felt his love. We were mocked by him. We were nothing for him. The last time when I allowed him to mock me was when I was 15 years old. He came home drunk and he started to beat me. He pushed me hard. My head hit the wall and I, I almost fainted. I took all my school supplies and I went to live with my grandmother. But all the ugly things did not end there because my grandfather did not change. He stayed the same as my father. He would wake us at 1 a.m. and would start screaming at us. My grandmother and I ran away and we, we found a place to hide in the attic. Later on, I met someone who told me about the orphan sands. I was very excited to hear about it and I really wanted to be part of this family. On April 11th, I was called and told that I will be part of the orphan's hands. Since I got here, all the things that used to be unbearable now are given meaning. I can confidently say that God's hands touched me. I cannot say now that I was never loved. I feel His love. The miracle of Valentina, a tremendous young woman that I had seen in the homes. I know basically why they end up at Vatra village, but I didn't realize the pain and suffering that she had gone through. You imagine living when all of your family are bound in alcohol and everywhere you try to land like a wee bird, a sparrow trying to find a safe haven, all you are is attacked some more. And um, she is part of our family. She is, as I said, she was voted the top student in the whole of Moldova, which is uh, in Kishna, Moldova, which is the capital of over a million people. And um, she is called upon regularly now to go to the French embassy and interpret on their behalf. That's what I call a miracle. And every one of you that are part of the Orphan Sands family, your gift of one dollar a day is what allows us to keep these homes open and expand them continuously as we move forward and you can be a part of that by contacting us very simple you can go to the daily faith tv just daily, www.dailyfaith.tv and if you put that in there there's a, a giving page there and you can also go to daily faith p.o box 25 new address p.o box 25 really simple clinton tennessee 37716 p.o box 20 
five. Remember that? That's simple to, to remember. 